Morning drifts across the equatorial forests in a hush of amber light, and the canopy stirs with the first rustlings of primate life. For countless monkey mothers, from langurs in India's south forest to capuchins in the rain-drenched Amazon, dawn signals the renewal of a relentless routine. They will nurse, forage, defend, groom, teach, and navigate social politics, all while carrying infants that can weigh nearly a quarter of their own mass. In the wild, motherhood is the ultimate endurance event, and the stakes are nothing less than survival. Yet, again and again, monkey mothers overcome exhaustion and stress through an astonishing array of physiological tools, behavioral strategies, and social alliances. First, the biological foundation. A mother primate's body is a chemical laboratory perpetually recalibrating to balance exertion with care. When danger or hardship looms, stress hormones, chief among them cortisol, surge into the bloodstream, heightening vigilance and sharpening reflexes. But a prolonged flood of cortisol is costly. It suppresses immunity, depletes fat reserves, and can even inhibit milk production. To counter this, monkey mothers rely on an internal pharmacy of calming neurochemicals. Oxytocin, often called the bonding hormone, rises when mothers groom their infants or exchange gentle contact with other adults. Elevated oxytocin not only deepens the emotional link with offspring, but also blunts the damaging effects of chronic stress. Endorphins, released during vigorous climbing or spontaneous bursts of play, act as natural painkillers, softening the ache of sore muscles and sleepless nights. In essence, the primate body contains both the alarm and the antidote. Still, chemistry alone is not enough. Energy management is paramount. Lactation can burn up to 30% more calories than a non-lactating female's daily requirement. To meet that target, mothers turn foraging into an art. Frugivorous species such as spider monkeys memorize the fruiting schedules of dozens of tree species, timing their travels to coincide with peak sugar bursts. Leaf-eating colobines angle for young, protein-rich shoots at dawn when tannin levels are low. Capuchins hammer palm nuts against branches with stone precision to unlock coveted kernels dense in fats. Every calorie counts because every calorie is converted into warm, nutrient-rich milk. And then there is the simple physics of motherhood. Carrying, an infant howler clings like a furry magnet, forcing its mother to leap shorter gaps and descend awkward slopes. To conserve energy, mothers adopt economical gates, hip-swaying lattice walks that shift weight to powerful thigh muscles. Some species share the load. Squirrel monkey infants spend part of the day riding older siblings, freeing the mother's limbs to gather insects or sip nectar. This transfer of burden is known as alloparenting, and it reappears across the primate family tree. Cooperative care is perhaps the most potent stress buffer of all. In Japanese macaque troops, grandmothers sit vigil over sleeping youngsters, swatting away flies so their daughters can forage undistracted. Among black and white colobus, entire babysitting circles form. One mother feeds while two others cradle infants in a living hammock of tails and limbs. Such alliances transform survival from a solo feat into a shared enterprise, slicing the edge off physical fatigue and reducing the risk of predation. The social world, however, is double-edged, monkeys live in hierarchies and rank can boost or break a mother's prospects. High-status females often gain first access to food patches, shortening foraging time and lowering metabolic stress, but rank must be defended. Displays of teeth, chest thumps and hair raises erupt at any hint of challenge and mothers in mid-conflict burn precious energy. To avoid constant confrontation, many females cultivate networks of friends frequent groomed partners who step in to mediate disputes. These friendships are transactional. Minutes spent detangling fur today translate into allies who back you tomorrow. Such social buffering measurably lowers cortisol, a living testament to the power of cooperation. Grooming itself is nothing short of therapy. Stroke by stroke, a mother's fingertips release tension bound up beneath the skin of her companions. Scientists monitoring vervet troops have documented plummeting heart rates during grooming sessions that last as little as five minutes. In effect, monkeys invented the day spa long before humans conceived of one. Motherhood's mental toll is equally profound. Infants are born curious but clueless, and teaching them is arduous. At a freshwater spring, a tufted capuchin mother cracks clams against pebbles, 
Moth demonstrating technique at least 70 times before her youngster succeeds once. Each demo delays her own feeding. Yet this repetition has purpose. A well-fed juvenile is a buffer against predation and disease in the future. By investing early, mothers reduce future stress, gambling calories today for survival tomorrow. Nightfall offers no full reprieve. Nocturnal hunters from ocelots to owls prowl the darkness. Many monkey mothers adopt sentinel sleep, dozing so lightly that the crack of a twig snaps eyes open in a heartbeat. Some species cluster on thin, flexing branches that cannot support heavier predators. Others rotate sleeping sites regularly, leaving behind a map of false leads for would-be stalkers. Even rest is strategic, a chess game with fang and claw. When exhaustion threatens to tip into collapse, monkey mothers deploy micro-rest, brief, seconds-long naps stolen while infants cling quietly. Researchers observing Chakma baboons note mothers whose eyelids flutter close between chewing cycles, retrieving vital minutes of REM throughout the afternoon. Though tiny, these naps accumulate, patching the brain's circuitry and restoring alertness long enough to face the next sprint. Play, too, is rehabilitation. While juveniles tumble in chaotic knots of limbs and squeals, mothers often join for a fleeting chase or bounce. The movement spikes circulation, flushing muscles with oxygen and washing away metabolic waste. Laughter like panting vocalizations trigger positive feedback loops, upping dopamine and rekindling motivation. Far from frivolous, play is medicine disguised as merriment. Stress, however, is not merely a matter of predators and calories. Weather adds its weight. During monsoon deluges, drenched fur chills the body, forcing mothers to shiver their way through the night, burning energy reserves. In response, some species craft crude umbrellas of leaves or huddle in tight circles, sharing thermal blankets of body heat. In arid spells, capuchin mothers dig shallow wells and riverbeds, revealing hidden water that keeps milk flowing and tempers dehydration. Adaptation is ingenuity under pressure. Sometimes the solution is dietary pharmacology. Kenyan verbets nibble on bitter vernonia plant stems, rich in antiparasitic compounds. Golden monkey mothers in the runga volcanoes ingest clay soils that bind to toxins and bamboo shoots, allowing them to eat more without gut distress. These natural remedies lighten disease loads and enhance nutrient absorption, freeing energy for motherhood's heavy call. Hormones, hierarchies, habitat, and health. Each factor slots into a multi-dimensional puzzle. Yet underlying all is an emotional engine scientists call maternal motivation, a cocktail of neurochemicals that biases the brain toward nurturing at almost any cost. PET scans of captive macaques reveal that a mother's reward circuitry lights up more intensely at her infant's squeak than at the offering of a favorite treat. Evolution, in carving such circuitry, ensured that the will to care would be as urgent as the will to eat. And what of mothers who must raise twins or whose mates depart before the birth? Across species, data show a simple truth. Those who invest in alliances fare better. Twin-bearing marmosets receive food gifts from fathers and older siblings more than 20 times an hour. Lone parent geladas, whose males have moved on, double their grooming bonds with other females, trading social debts for protection. Flexibility is the difference between burnout and balance. Modern research even suggests that personality matters. Bold mothers, quick to explore, quick to retaliate, often secure higher quality feeding sites, but at the cost of more fights and higher cortisol spikes. Shy mothers settle for the margins of the patch, yet enjoy calmer social interactions and steadier cortisol profiles. Neither strategy is perfect, but both show that diversity can be a path to survival. In recent years, Long-term field studies have revealed an intriguing epilogue. The resilience of monkey mothers echoes in their daughters. Female juveniles raised by calm, well-supported mothers show lower baseline cortisol and stronger social networks as adults. The lessons of endurance transmit not only through genes but also through everyday example, shaping the next generation's capacity to thrive. So, when the sun finally slides beneath the horizon and the jungle choir shifts to the rasp of cicadas, Imagine the unseen ledger of a single day. Kilometers leapt, parasites plucked, predators dodged, quarrels settled, mouths fed, minds molded, sleep postponed. Somehow, on the fragile margins of those calculations, monkey mothers make the math work. 
They do so not with endless reserves, but with precise strategies honed by millions of years of natural selection. Strategies that turn exhaustion into merely another challenge to solve. Their story is both humbling and instructive. It teaches that resilience is not invincibility, but adaptation. Not limitless strength, but clever allocation. Not solitary heroism, but shared struggle. Whether clambering through mangrove roots, skimming canopy highways, or traversing savanna woodlands, monkey mothers offer a living seminar in how to bend without breaking, how to give without emptying, and how to persist when every muscle pleads for rest. If you enjoy videos like this one, please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. It helps us keep growing and bringing more stories from nature to light. Thanks for watching. See you next time.